Hi, welcome back to more coverage from Computex 2012. I'm now at Gigabyte Suite at the Taipei 101 and I'm here with Brian. Brian, Gigabyte motherboards, two words that go together. Um, Intel Z77 chipset launched recently and you guys have got what, 20 boards? Um, you've got a very high-end board in your hands, so talk us through it please. Okay, this is the, the new motherboard we have. It calls Z77 XUP7. Okay, so you can see the high-end the high -end solution, we have 32 phases. Okay, you can, um, in, the mother, in the motherboard story, we, the high, highest phases, we only have 24. And right, right now we have 32 rear phases. Okay, and you can also see uh, uh, in here, Okay, and you don't have a, you can you can see all the components right now because we don't have we didn't put the heat sink right now. So okay. Basically, what you're trying to say is that if company X says they've got 24 phases, they may or may not have it, but uh -huh. you've definitely got 32 because I've counted them. And for the people that don't know, what mm -hmm. does more phases mean on a motherboard? Oh, okay. Phases it, uh, it controls all the current and vo voltage of your CPU. And more phases, you can have a more stable, a more, more stable platform, and you can have a, a better performance for overclock and lower temperatures. Mm -hmm. So basically, this high-end board is all about overclocking because on the basic board, let's mm -hmm. say the D3H, mm -hmm. that's perfectly adequate at stock speeds, and in fact, it overclocks okay. Mm -hmm. But if you're putting this much focus on VRMs, it's purely mm -hmm. for the overclocking. Uh, yeah, it's only... Uh, okay, this motherboard is designed for overclock. So, you can see we have a lot of phases if just to have a lower temperature when you... Uh, let you to reach a higher overclock, overclock result. Okay, and... And other, other motherboards, we... It's also good for overclock, but it's not quite good like this. And you can see the result later, okay? We are still testing to get a uh, wall raker for this motherboard, okay? So apart from phases, which are good, mm -hmm. what else does the, the 7 series have? Oh, okay, 7 series have, okay. 7 series... Uh, well, the 7 variant, this particular board, oh, okay. it's, it's high-end, mm -hmm. you can clearly see that. It's got lots of SATA. It's got a bridge chip, from what I can tell. Yes. What other what other features does it have compared to regular boards that makes it premium? Oh, okay. You can see the the basic the OC buttons, okay, and uh, you can see we have a four four way crossfire and SLI, okay, and and SATA port. It's a uh, it's quite complete and. Yeah. <laughs> I, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. So so let's say you got the CPU Ivy Bridge. It I goes guess. in there. Mm -hmm. As far as I know, you've got 16 lanes for graphics, ah, and you've okay. got four slots. Yes. Now, if you do the maths, it doesn't quite work out. Okay, so presumably that's why we, we are introducing this uh, bridge, okay, PL, PLX, to have another, to support four-way SLI and Crossfire, right? To have uh, enough lanes to, to do the four-way, okay? And looking further down, um, mm -hmm. if I can see from here, because the debug LED, yes. from dual biases, Yes. You got USB 3, probably lots of it. Oh, of course. Yeah, we, we do have a lot of uh, USB 3 here. Okay, so we have four in front, uh, four in rear, and four in front. Okay. okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Obviously, very high end. Yeah. It's not out yet. Um, mm -hmm. When it does come out, oh. roughly what kind of price are you looking at? Uh, okay, the we are planning to have this motherboard in July. Okay, and. The price will be around four hundred and something. Okay. Four hundred dollars for a motherboard. Yes, okay. because this is the best solution you can have in Ivy Bridge. Okay, so that's the best solution. Next mm -hmm. to you, you've got a different board and a different focus. So I'll just move this out of the way. Okay. There you go. Okay. This one it calls uh, Z seventy seven X U D. UP5 TH, okay. UP5 is the new, the new series where we are having, okay. It's it called UP, okay. And why we call it UP is it includes the feature of U ultra durable five, okay. What's ultra durable five is the important thing is here too, okay. It's in in phases too. Mm -hmm. We are using a a world IR solution for. Uh, controller, chalk, and MOSFET 
for for the VRN part. Okay. So just to recap, this mm -hmm. UP5 has got new features, and you've got new controllers for the the base the wattage su sucking sections of the motherboard. Yes. And with this new controller, what does it let you do that you couldn't do previously? Oh, okay. This controller, uh, okay, it's better because we we reduce the four chipsets. Okay, upside MOSFET, low side MOSFET, and the controller in one chip. Okay, that's why it's better, okay. and it it can it can produce lower temperature. Okay, and can stand higher current. Okay, it can stand 60 amperes. Okay, compared to compared to others, others uh, regular ones is only 20. 20 amperes. And just to go back to the lower temperatures bit, um, mm -hmm. before this video I saw a demonstration mm -hmm. and just how much low, you can tell the people, just how much lower was the temperature on this motherboard on the VRM section compared to a generic Gigabyte Z77? Okay, you can, uh, if you are using a uh, water cooling, you can reach 30 degrees lower temperature uh, compared with other brands or other other VRM solutions. Right. Okay. And this motherboard's not just about VRMs. On the back, you've got something interesting. Yes. Okay. Here you can see it calls TH. It means Thunderbolt. Okay. Other brands only have one Thunderbolt, and we are going to have two Thunderbolt on board. So you can uh, connect 12 devices and two monitors here. Okay. So it's double of others. Yeah. Uh -huh. Do you see Thunderbolt catching on onto more mid-range boards? This is still pretty high-end. I mean, is it still oh, too yeah. expensive to have Thunderbolt on, say, a hundred-pound board? Okay, uh, Thunderbolt is really expensive, yes, but I cannot tell you about the, the cost, right? Sure. Uh, also, the, this board will be around 300 and something, okay? Okay, so still very high-end. Yes. So, in a sentence or two, if you had to kind of sum up Gigabyte's premium offerings mm -hmm. for Z77, what would you say? Okay, the uh, UD5, the Ultra Duo Over 5, the best VRM solution, okay, and and, 30, and UP7, Z77X UP7, the best solution for Ivory Bridge, all for overclocking. Okay, okay, so what you're saying basically is you've got the best overclocking boards for Ivy Bridge. Yes. Okay, thanks, Brian. Thank you. Well, you've heard it from Brian. Gigabyte thinks they've got the best boards. These won't be out for probably two, three months, but we will get those in the labs, and we'll put Brian's assertions to the test.